What's up, guys? Welcome to Robin's Nest. It's Kevin again, by himself. This time I brought along a guest. I guess he can stay here. Can you see him? I brought a guest. His name is Pikachu. What's up, people? So he'll be my guest. Um, again, Mary's at work. The kids are at school. Yes. Um, so continuing on our stretch of um, baseball, I recently did the Gary Sanchez collection. And um, so now continuing on with some of the other young guys. And um, with the Yankees, I'm doing the my Tyler Austin collection. Isn't as big. I don't think I have. I don't have batting gloves. I don't have a bat. Um, Tyler was in Tampa short amount of time for the games I was there. Um, I break as many bats. Also, I have a ball somewhere. I didn't look to find it because I think I have him on team balls. But I do have a special ball. I think this is why I didn't chase him for um, his own ball because I have a special ball here that I will save for last. So, um, we're going to start with the certified autographs for Tyler. If you're not familiar with a certified autograph is, is when the player himself signs for company um, on a contract basis. So he's he's contracted to sign X amount of cards for a release, um, for a specific release. And then where most of my autographs are in person that we get signed by the athlete themselves um, on our stance. So I have a couple of these, um, Bowman Inception, his autograph has uh, changed as it's gone on, um, Best of Baseball Leaf, and Extra Editions. I thought I had more somewhere, they're probably in a stack that I haven't been able to sort, because I have, I have a stack haven't been able to sort of autographs, so they're just all stacked. A bunch of in-person autographs and some certified. Alright, so here are some of these. Um, this was 2012. So, that being said, this was early on in our signing period. Extra edition with the red ink. Bowman, his first Bowman card, purple on purple. I, think, I don't know if this was hometown or what they called international, like parallel set, with the American flag in the background. Uh, first Bowman base, black ink. Bowman Chrome, this was before I knew how to fix the Chrome issues. Um, with the red ink smeared, I think I had a good copy, but I probably um, passed it on to another collector, and I took the smeared ink because I have plenty of autographs. Um, the blue paper border with the black ink. The Rise of the Prodigy, black ink. Again, Rise. I really like these. They're simple made cards. Um, not the best looking cards, but I wonder if they're still producing. This is one of the cards I wish I had another chance to redo with the what uh, with the ice and the gold ink. You can see it in certain lights right there, but it's hard to see like just looking at. It. Alright, so um, on to the, the prize possession. Um, actually, there's a story to this. I got this item when I got to meet Tyler's mom in the offseason. Um, she actually donated um, old balls that Tyler used to train with um, for the boys for their... We had a birthday party. Um, we spoke on this story a couple other times that... Um, 
boys were having a Sesame Street baseball birthday, and we used the baseballs that we, um, Tyler's mom, and also Nick Goody, another good friend of ours, um, donated balls to us, and we used the baseballs as the party invitations. I do not have one of those balls right now. They are somewhere. Um, we have like one or two that we kept from that party, but we gave the balls out as the invitation for the boys' birthday party. That was pretty cool. That was a while back. So um, here is the ball. It is an, on an official meat ball, and is um, as the story goes, this was anywhere from the age ten to twelve ish. I think I think Tyler's mom's gonna watch this video, so I hope she chimes in. Um, anywhere in that preteen age, um, this was one of if not Tyler's first autograph practice. As you see that he wrote out his name in cursive. Um, obviously as the autographs evolve and there's a lot more to ask, names get cut down. Sometimes they're initials, sometimes they just end up with scribbles. Um, you can kind of see there, it, he's trying to keep it Tyler Austin, but um, this one turned into Tyler on a scribble T. So it happens, but I think that's pretty cool that um, she brought this to us and um, it will forever stay in that collection it's up in our display case with a bunch of the other um, first or other game used cleats from players that have um, given it to us or um, game day shirts and whatnot that they uh, gave and we have put in our collection which sometimes we joke around it will turn into a museum so that is it um if i have any more they will show up in updated versions of my collection i talked i talked a little bit about it on the the gary sanchez episode um if you want to look back at that one but i will do a weekly um display of x amount of cards um whether it be certs uh, cert autographs or ip um ip autographs the display um, to show we have plenty of them also maybe just even just do player collections just like this one to show um, just the different cards even if they're not autographed but I will have a weekly cover on that so that will fill time for me in the baseball offseason as I build up I don't know what I'm looking at over there I'm just scanning to see if maybe I can find where I put those other cards um, but I am looking to fill the, the void of the off season with these weekly sessions, also building up a um, large number of base cards for us to get signed at spring during camp when camp goes back around. I'm looking to spend more time at the practice, at workouts, and also their um, minor league facility. So I'm not gonna be spending as much time in actual games in spring training. Um, for us, where we like to sit and just the, the cost of the games for us as a family for, um, sometimes for the boys it's just a little too much. It's really hot, it gets really hot and it's really long days. Sometimes we're there um, at 9.30 for a one o'clock game. So you're there for three, four hours before a game then you gotta sit through the game. So we usually, um, they like to do the autographing, they like to talk to the people instead of just having to sit there um, to do it. So that might be the route we take. We go to um, the workouts and then we'll go to the minor league facilities when it, once it's open and then we'll just carry on with our family activities for that day. Um, I will cover another player collection soon. Again, look out for that weekly um, collection display as we go. I'm thinking 10 to 25 cards. It might just be 10 depending on who it is. And I try to vary them. If it's if there's a if there's like 10 for one player, I'll probably just cover that one player. And we'll just do it like that. So it'll be a varied assortment. Each episode will be different amounts depending on who we have coming up. All right, thanks guys. Thank you for watching.